Hey guys, today we're taking a look at my Unicorn deck. This deck was requested by Michael Stormblade, and basically this deck is a beast type deck that focuses on bringing out synchros, specifically the Unicorn synchros, but there are a lot of good synchros that you can actually use, so we're not focusing too heavily on them, although you can get them out pretty uh, easily. So first off, we have Lock Cat, so a really, really nice, just allowing you to special summon uh, beasts from the graveyard, giving you easy swarming, easy synchros. And then we have Key Mouse, uh, level 1 tuner, very, very useful in this deck, uh, allowing you to synchro very, very easily and do a lot of different synchros. And if you do happen to lose it by battle, you can just, you know, search out uh, beast monsters to do whatever you need. Raikou, obviously very good in a deck like this that uses beasts. Uh, also nice getting things to the graveyard. Tengrisner, uh, the Nordic beast monster. This one's just really good. Obviously, because they're bringing out uh, these beast tokens that'll be used for synchros. Giant Rat. This is pretty much an all Earth deck, you know, except for there are some light monsters, but mostly uh, Earth. So, Giant Rat will allow you to uh, bring out whatever you currently need. Super Nimble Mega Hamster, also really good for this type of deck, special summoning a beast type monster, especially because it goes in face down defense, which is nice for cards like um, Raikou. Chain Dog, also very nice, allowing you to have some swarming uh, uh, in addition to whatever you're already doing when you have a good field situation, so can lead to some very powerful plays. Monoceros, a uh, nice special summon card, it, just dumping spells to bring this guy out, and also when he synchros you can special summon beasts, so you can do some really crazy uh, plays with this guy, uh, allowing you to bring out a ton of synchros. Then Egotistical Ape. So a special summon card that you basically dump beasts for. Very, very good. Um, dumping beasts is obviously very good. And he has a level changing effect. So he can kind of change out his level or make his level higher and do all these other crazy synchros. It's a lot to go into, but I'm just going to say that basically with all these monsters, you can have a lot of different options. Along with that, Redux in an Earth-based deck, a uh, great choice. Giving you access to even more synchros and just good field presence, stuff like that. So now the spell card's Pot of Duality. We do have a lot of special summoning, but you need some draw power um, in this deck. MST, Forbidden Lance. Forbidden Lance, very good for protecting your synchros. The Big March of Animals. I was debating this card, um, but it can be very useful setting up very powerful plays when you start swarming the field, which is how this deck works. Closed Forest, dumping a lot of beasts in the graveyard, so an obvious choice. Dark Hole, and then mostly Staple Traps. Uh, also one using one uh, Horn of the Phantom Beast, just nice for a beast-type deck. So now for the Synchros, obviously going to have a variety of levels and a lot of very specific ones. So Mist Bird, Armory Arm, Catastor, uh, Natural Beast, obviously, for this type of deck. Uh, Thunder Unicorn, obviously, for the it's a unicorn deck. I'm um, not going to get into all the unicorn effects, but they're all pretty nice. Uh, Iron Chain Dragon and Natural Bark and Natural Bark, and obviously another great uh, monster that you can bring out. Black Rose, uh, the other unicorn, Bicorn, Stardust, Scrap Dragon, the other unicorn, Tricorn. They just all have really nice effects. Um, in addition, you also have a lot of different synchros you can do. Also have Star Eater in here. You have so many different levels, so many different swarming that, you know, you have a lot of different options, but you do, this is a unicorn deck, you do have those options for the unicorns. So you, you want to see if you can get those out, but still, um, you know, you're able to do other things if you need to. I didn't put a lot of XYZ in this deck, obviously very synchro heavy, but you can, you know, choose a lot of different XYZs. Um, you can put out four stars if you want, but it's just currently not what I'm going for. Uh, I put in Gachi and Zen Mange, which I find to be very useful in this deck. So now for the side deck. Again, side decks in my videos are kind of just recommended cards that can also work when you're building the deck. It isn't a side deck for matches. You know, I want to give people some ideas on other cards they can use if they want to, you know, go for a unicorn deck or maybe just a beast type deck in general. So Bazoo the Soul Eater can be an interesting one. Um, it... It can lead to some very powerful plays, but the problem is that uh, you really don't want to dump things from the graveyard. But there are some combos you can do with it with some other things I might go into. Uh, Bicorn Ream, just an interesting uh, four-star that you can use to mill your opponent, which could be annoying. Uh, Elephoon's an interesting one, just allowing you um, to get your banished cards back. Uh, the Baboons, Green Baboon, Yellow bo Baboon, giving you some field presence when you lose your monsters, which can be... Uh, very interesting. Nimble Manga, a lot of the Nimble cards can also be really useful for this deck. There's a lot of other Synchros. You could bring out Ally of Justice, you really, you know, with not, not that much trouble. So you can put in a lot of other Synchros if you want, especially high-leveled ones. 
There's a lot of other beast support. Wild Natures released can lead to some powerful plays. Spiritual Forest is another um, card you can run to kind of protect yourself. Obedient School, if you're running a lot of lower leveled uh, beasts, the, my uh, I tend to have a lot of three stars in this deck, three and four stars, so I'm not running Obedient School. But if I was running mostly um, two and one star, Obedient School would be a really good card for this deck. Beast Rage, also an interesting one if you have a lot of banished cards. Um, obviously very powerful with Bazoo, so some interesting plays you can do there. And then we also have uh, Unicorn Beacon, just a nice card to get your unicorns uh, back, but um, it's situational. I am, uh, I'm not sure if I want to run this, but it can be very useful. There's some other support traps that are for Beast Battle Instinct to get a monster back, Beast Rising to kind of um, change around attacks, Berserking also kind of doing a similar effect. Beast General, beast support generally um, all has to do with attack. That's generally how a lot of their support works. So that's my unicorn deck. Uh, very fun to play. Again, you know, it's it's called a unicorn deck, but there isn't that much unicorn support, so it's more like a beast synchro swarm deck. Um, still very fun to play. Still very interesting. A lot of really interesting plays. You could lead to some very crazy field presence with the right uh, hand combo. But um, if you guys have your own unicorn decks, post below, let me know in the comments, talk about what cards you use, and make suggestions for me. But that is it for me. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later.